I love the skirt. Uh, I don't know why the top, maybe it's the fit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna tell you part of the problem or why it's like whatever. Because it's, it, we don't have, we haven't judged it yet. We haven't put any accessory. It's just yeah. very, very plain yeah. at this point. I'm thinking we need a belt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see that right there? I just got a belt. I, I was gonna go get it. Greetings and welcome to Utique Lifestyle. This is a wardrobe planning series in collaboration with So Much Fabric, where fabric is sewn into fashion. In this video, I'm going to share the process of how we selected the accessories I wore to Runway Houston's fashion show. Because Roz did such an excellent job with the asymmetrical dress, I gave her the creative freedom to put together this outfit. At this point, I did fall in love with the silk A-line skirt. However, I did not feel the bishop sleeve blouse. Although it did have some fashionable elements to it, it still felt plain to me. With my experience of working with Roz in the past, I knew she had a bigger vision for this outfit. So I completely put full trust in her and in the process. I'm actually excited to see her vision come together. You see that right there? I just got a belt. I, I was gonna... Go get it. It's, I, it's big. It's a, I bought a large. Okay, you gotta take it out. Okay, Un, undo it. Let's see. We just need to accessorize it because it's too plain. Yes. It's black and it white. Is. It's major plain. Okay, I'm glad I got this. Yeah. I envisioned this with a belt. Oh, you did? Mm hmm I did. Okay. I do like it now with the belt. Mm-hmm. And jewelry. We need a piece of something. We need a piece of something. Something here. right here? Mm-hmm. What you have for um, don't see the necklaces. No. Okay. no. Look. Oh. <laughs> Dang, Ross. Mm -hmm. See, oh that makes all the difference. Yeah. That makes all the difference. Okay. You want to go to the jewelry another? store with me? Sure. So Roz used my gold choker and an earring as a pendant to give me some inspiration ideas for a necklace. I was happy she was able to join me on this shopping adventure. So we went to this street called Harwin in Houston, where there are a lot of wholesale jewelry shops. Because of all the options they had, I thought I would be able to find one necklace. After trying on so many different necklaces, I still didn't find the one that felt right or the one I can say I love. After unsuccessfully trying on the necklaces, I had walked past the purse section. And this purse caught my attention because it had the colors of my wardrobe. And so I purchased this fun, whimsical purse. On the way home, we made a quick stop by Steinmart to check out their jewelry. Roz actually spotted the earrings and the necklace from here. We had to think creatively and see beyond what was available to us. So here are the accessories I came home with. We had a small window of time to try on the new accessories before I had to go pick up the children from school. Okay. Now just for comfort, let's try the other ones on, just in case, if they do better for comfort. They work okay with comfort. Do the others. Mm, I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I Yes, ma'am. Carry my own pumpkin. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yankee. Now I just okay. need to. Let me carefully yes. so you know where the belt needs yes. to go. I got a lot of fixing to do. Yes, you do. After the children were picked up from school and they had dinner, I started on modifying the necklace. So this is the correct way to wear the necklace, but we're going to break some rules here. Roz had hooked the clasp at the correct circumference I needed. So I straightened the necklace out to find the center point. I don't have the right jewelry tools, but this plier I had on hand worked just fine. I opened up the loop at the center point, removed the chain on the other side and lay it down. Now detach the adjustable chain link and then attach it to the end with the open loop. On the other end, including the clasp, I'm going to count the number of loops. I counted five loops, including the clasp. Since there were five loops there, I'm going to count five loops where the clasp is attached. I'm going to remove the excess chain. Now I'm going to unhook the clasp, 
Remove the excess chain from the clasp. Then attach the clasp to the end of the necklace. I am now complete with shortening the necklace. Next, I'm going to remove the middle pendant. I'm going to open up the loops above and below the middle pendant. And then I will take the large pendant and attach it to the small pendant. Secure the chain and I am complete. Now I will adjust the belt. The belt was actually an extra large and Roz had already marked it for me. The reason why I was able to alter this belt was because it was elastic and it would be able to go through a sewing machine. So this is where Roz had pinned it for me and I'm going to take a measuring tape to see how much I needed to remove from the belt. So it was five and a half inches on one side and then I just continued the measurement to the other side so the total amount I need to remove is 11 and a half inches. I'm going to take that number and divide it by 2. So 11 and a half divided by 2 equals 5.75 inches. Starting at my sewing point, I'm going to measure out 5.75 inches and mark. I'm going to move the pin over to secure the placement. I'm going to fold the belt over to the marking. I'll remove the tag and we'll stitch here, but before I start sewing, I'm going to flip to the other side and do the same thing. I will create the markings. I will measure 5.75 inches out and mark. Move the pin over and then fold the belt. And this is where I will sew. Now let's take it to the sewing machine. I'm going to replace my regular sewing foot with my zipper foot. Make sure to move the needle over. Now I'm ready to start stitching. I'm actually going to go back and forth several times just to secure the stitching. Repeat it for the other side and this is how it's going to look. I'm going to trim off the excess elastic from the belt and then I'm going to use bias tape to wrap the ends. Here I'm measuring how much bias tape I need and then cut. So I'm wrapping both ends with the bias tape and then I'm going to fold over and this is how it looks. Then I'm going to start hand stitching the sides together. Repeat it for the other side and the other end of the belt. Once I'm done with the hand stitching, I'm going to sew down the bias tape with the sewing machine. I'll take it to the sewing machine and stitch. And this is how it looks. And now I am complete resizing the belt. I also completed my bishop sleeve blouse that night, so I had a good amount of rest and time to prepare for the event on Friday. This was my outfit and the accessories I wore to Runway Houston. And here are some of the highlights. Welcome to season 11 of Runway Houston!
learned that night that Runway Houston was the opening event for the Lamborghini Festival. Now it all made sense as to why the Lamborghinis were parked all the way around the venue. Thank you for watching and feel free to watch the video on how I sewed my silk A-line skirt and my bishop sleeve blouse. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell for future new videos. Well, I hope you got inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary.